This is the story of how the terrorist attacks of 9-11 impacted the whale population in the ocean, the growing understanding that ships have an effect on these whales, and a change in how these ships are propelled not to save the whales, but because of shifts in the shipping market. With the overwhelming amount of information and the shock surrounding the events of 9-11, there was likely one issue that never crossed your mind. How it affected the whale population. Researchers observed that in the days immediately following the terrorist attacks, whales exhibited remarkable changes in behavior. This shift can be attributed to the near-complete halt imposed on shipping traffic due to the attacks. It turns out that ship engines emit low-frequency noises that align with the same wavelength that whales use to communicate with each other over thousands of miles. These engine noises overwhelm the whales' communication signals and significantly diminish their reach. But, for a brief moment, they found themselves in a world of calm where they could suddenly communicate again. We know that the cargo industry certainly doesn't bode well. For whales. Ecologists argue that this is a compelling reason that ships should consider reverting to sails, but few seem to be paying attention to these ecological arguments. One other argument for the use of sails comes from climate scientists who suggest that transitioning back to sails could help combat the shipping industry's share, approximately 3%, of global CO2 emissions. However, not many seem to be heeding the advice of these climate scientists either. If we exclude ecologists and climate scientists, it becomes evident that few are interested in the welfare of whales or in reducing emissions from ships as the sole reason that ships are returning to sails. And sails are experiencing a resurgence, with major shipping companies already employing a handful of sail-powered cargo ships. The primary driving force behind this revival is, as with most things, money. Innovative sail ship designs are being developed worldwide, with Norse Power leading the way as of January 2024. They use cylindrical spin sails, harnessing a peculiar physics principle, the Magnus Effect, to propel the ship forward. The imposing cylinders here are the sails. They reduce fuel consumption in cargo ships by up to 30%, which may not sound substantial individually, but is quite impressive when implemented across an entire fleet of cargo ships. Better yet, the technology exists to design emission-free sail-powered cargo ships, yet the motivation hasn't fully materialized for reasons that we can all probably understand. The transition may be gradual, and it will likely never fully occur, however, these partially sail-powered ships by Norse Power already has the world's largest shipping company, Maersk, investing in the design. It turns out that this centuries-old shipping technology of sails is actually more efficient and more practical in today's modern environment than you might think. The incentive to embrace this change will emerge as oil becomes scarcer and more expensive and companies turn to cutting their fuel charges. Coupled with ongoing advancements in sail technology as new investments arise, the future for sailing ships seems bright.